Welcome to our next Wondering Walks of Wonder campus tour. Today we're taking a virtual tour of Colorado College in beautiful Colorado Springs, Colorado. We will take you on a journey through this vibrant cam campus that's nestled in the heart of the Rocky Mountains. Colorado College was founded in 1874 by Thomas Nelson Haskell, a Presbyterian minister, as a co-educational liberal, liberal arts college in the tradition of Oberlin College. The college's first classes were held in May of 1874, only three years after the city of Colorado Springs was founded by General William Jackson Palmer. Our tour begins here at Ed Robson Arena, which is a multi-purpose ice hockey arena located on the Colorado College campus. It serves as home to the Colorado College Tigers men's and women's ice hockey team. The arena is named after Ed Robson, a prominent Colorado College alumnus and donor who made a significant contribution to the construction of the building. As we head into the campus, here's a little bit more about the history of Colorado College. In its early years, Colorado College was a small but struggling institution. The college's first building, Cutler Hall, which we'll see here in just a bit, was not completed until 1880, and the college did not confer its first degrees until 1882. However, the college gradually grew and prospered over the years. In 1912, Colorado College became one of only five colleges in the nation to have ongoing faculty exchanges with Harvard University. This exchange helped to raise the academic reputation of Colorado College and attract more students to it from around the country. To our right here, we're going past South Hall, which is one of the college's residential dormitories. During World War II, Colorado College served as a training ground for V-12 Navy ensigns. The college also hosted a victory uh, garden on campus to help provide food for the war effort. But after the war, Colorado College continued to grow and develop. The college expanded its academic offerings and built new buildings on campus. So many of the buildings you see today were built after World War II. Colorado College also became increasingly diverse with students from all over the United States and the world attending. One of the most beautiful buildings on campus is the Chauve Memorial Chapel, uh, which was completed in 1931. This chapel is a great example of Gothic Revival architecture, and it serves as a significant landmark on the college's campus. It's characterized by its impressive Gothic architecture, which has pointed arches, very intricate stonework, and that soaring tower that we see. The chapel's design is very reminiscent of medieval European cathedrals. The Memorial Chapel serves as a place of worship, community gatherings, and various events on the Colorado campus. It hosts religious services, weddings, lectures, musical performances, and other cultural and educational events. The chapel houses a notable pipe organ, the William J. Memorial Organ, which is used for musical performances and accompanies religious services. The chapel is named in honor of John Shove, or Shove, uh, I'm not sure which, but he was a prominent Colorado Springs philanthropist and his wife Helen both donated to the construction of the chapel. The building also memorializes their son Llewellyn who died in World War I.
We're now walking past Olin Hall, and just to our right, we'll also see Olin Hall Annex. This is the main science building on campus, which houses the biology and ecology departments. The completion of Palmer Hall's construction in 1904 represented the pinnacle of President William F. Slocum's tenure from 1888 to 1917. This building was designed by the architectural firm of Andrew Jacques and Ron Toole, based in Boston. This building is designed in the Romanesque Revival style and was one of the most beautiful buildings on campus. The architectural firm crafted the building using peach blow sandstone that was sourced from a quarry located alongside the frying river the frying pan river in pitkin county the official dedication of this new structure occurred on february 23 1904. it was a grand affair that attracted delegates from over 50 colleges and universities along with notable figures such as Governor James Peabody, General Palmer, who was the founder of Colorado Springs, and the entire college community, including students, faculty, and staff. This impressive building was christened Palmer, Palmer Hall in, <clears throat> in honor of William Jackson Palmer, the founder of Colorado Springs, a Civil War veteran, and president of the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad. Initially, Palmer Hall was designed to accommodate classrooms, scientific laboratories, and administrative offices. It was designated as the home for chemistry, biology, physics, and geology. It remained the hub for science until 1962 when Olin Hall that we walked past earlier was completed. Since then, Pro Palmer Hall has primarily housed social sciences type classes. Tut Library is the main library here on the campus of Colorado College. It's a central source for students, faculty, and staff at the college, and it plays a crucial role in supporting academic and research activities. The library underwent a significant renovation and expansion project in 2017. The building features now a more modern and sustainable design and offers comfortable and technology-advanced technology environments for research, study, and collaboration.
This unique round building here in front of us is the Bocher Center. It's an academic and administrative building that now houses such things as the health department here for the college. Although uh, Colorado College opened up in 1880, during its early years, the institution was unable to provide student meals or on-campus housing. As a result, many scholars coming from outside Colorado Springs had to rent rooms and dine in local boarding houses or private residences. In 1889, the college completed its first residence for men called Hagerman Hall, and in 1891, Montgomery Hall that we see here was opened up as a women's dormitory in Residence Hall. Ahead of us is Tickner Hall, which was erected in 1898. It holds a significant place in the history of Colorado College as it's the second women's dormitory. The college saw a steady increase in the number of women students during the 1890s and it became apparent that the existing housing capacity in Montgomery Hall, which was completed in 1891, was insufficient to accommodate the growing female student population. However, to address this issue, the college initially leased two private houses nearby to provide temporary housing. It then recognized that a more permanent and on-campus solution was needed and this building was constructed. To our left we see Bemis Hall which was completed in 1908. It stands as the fourth and the largest of the women's dormitories on the campus. This Tudor Revival style building is not only an architectural marvel but a testament to the generosity of principal donors here on campus. The primary donations for the construction of Bemis Hall, which came to about $60,000 at the time, were generously provided by Mr. and Mrs. Judson B. Bemis, as well as Colorado Springs founder General William, William Palm, Jackson Palmer. Gregor Hall again is also another residence hall that was constructed for women in the early 1900s. Ahead of us we see the Washburn Field and the Frank Flood Track which are athletic facilities. These facilities provide spaces for various sports and athletic activities and are an integral part of the college's athletic program. These fields are primarily used for such sports as soccer, lacrosse, and field hockey. As you can see, you get a beautiful view of the Rocky Mountains from this location.
as we make our way from the athletic fields back onto campus. The building that we see here on our left is Cutler Hall. It is one of the most historic and iconic buildings on the campus. It's the first permanent athletic building or academic building at the college and it holds a special place in the institution's history. It was completed in 1880, making it the very first permanent academic building at Colorado College. The architectural style of the building is a blend of Romanesque revival and Victorian Gothic elements. It originally housed classrooms, faculty offices, and various academic departments. Today, it mainly holds uh, activities related to the administration of the college. Cosset, Cosset Hall was dedicated in June of 1914 and played a significant role in the development of sports, campus life, and physical education at Colorado College. The building was equipped with various facilities to support physical education and campus life. It included a basketball court, locker facilities, and shower rooms. This provided students with a dedicated space for athletic training and activity. The presence of this gymnasium with spectator seating played a pivotal role in stimulating campus interest in basketball. Starting in 1922, the college basketball teams achieved notice, notable success by winning consecutive Rocky Mountain Conference championships for four years. The Lloyd E. Warner Campus Center, often referred to just simply as the Warner Center, it's a central place for the campus, for the students on the campus of Colorado College. It serves as a hub for student activities and services, as well as social, cultural, and, and, and administrative life. There are meeting rooms, small gathering places, lecture halls, and a place where workshops and other organizational meetings and activities can occur.
Packard Hall serves as a hub for music and art education on campus. Packard Hall is named in honor of Sperry S. and Ella Graber Packard, who made significant contributions to Colorado College to, comfort, to construct this facility. Also on campus is the American Numismatic and Money Museum. This institution is dedicated to the study and preservation of new numismatics, which is the study of coins, paper money, tokens, and related items used as currency or a means of exchange. The museum's primary focus is on the history, art, and science of numismatics. It houses a vast collection of coins, banknotes, medals, and related objects from various time periods and regions throughout the world. Inside are ancient and modern coins, rare and historical currency, commemorative coins, and other precious metals. The Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center is a prominent cultural institution located here in Colorado Springs. It's known for its focus on the visual and performing arts as well as a commitment to arts education and community engagement. The Col Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center was founded in 1936 as a cultural and educational institution. It's re this museum that we see here in front of us is renowned for its collection of visual arts featuring works from various time periods and artistic movements. The collection inside includes paintings, sculptures, decorative arts, and other visual art forms.
Ahead of us is the Edith Kenny Gaylord Cornerstones Art Center, often simply referred to as the Corner Store Art, Cornerstone Art Center. It's a prominent and innovative arts and cultural facility that's located on campus. This center is designed to foster creativity, collaboration, and artistic exploration. The building is named in honor of Edith Kenny Gaylord, who is a notable American journalist, philanthropist, and supporter of the arts. Her contributions played a significant role in the establishment of the center. And just to our right is the William I. Spencer Center. This building houses the Office of the President as well as various other finance and administrative offices. I hope you've enjoyed this Wondering Walks of Wonder campus tour here on the campus of Colorado College. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on our next Wondering Walks of Wonder adventure. Take care now. Bye-bye.